I'm uh, BMCM. I'm the Chief Engineer of State Sports Council of Megalai. Okay. So the State Sports Council of Megalai actually uh, usually does all the construction work for the sports department. But in this particular project, an MOU was signed between the Government of Megalai, uh, Department of Sports and Youth Affairs, the Government of Megalai, and HSCL, Hindustan Steel Works Construction Limited, which is a uh, Government of India PSU, to execute the work on behalf of the government, uh, on behalf of the Department of Sports and Youth Affairs. So basically, SSCM is not executing this work. The whole execution of the work is being carried out by uh, HSCL. So that is what, that is the thing. So the the uh, the sports uh, department, sports and youth affairs, hands over the money to uh, HSCL, and HSCL actually does all the engineering works and the payment of bills and uh, all that is being handled by HSCL. So my visit here is because we are also an engineering uh, wing of the sports department. We had seen this uh, mishap that has happened here, so we were sent here to assess the damage and to prevent any further damage so that under uh, all uh, the mitigation measures that need to be carried out so that this is you know uh, stopped at this point in time this whole damage is stopped at this point in time so this is the main, main purpose of the damage a uh, main purpose of the visit yes we have uh, see that as i told you earlier this the main executing agency is basically hscl so what we can do is just on an advisory role we can uh, advise HSCL, but they have their own technical team, they have their own technical uh, uh, designers who will finally take a call on that. But as per my, uh, what, what, we, uh, what we have seen is, the road that is leading here should be actually closed because the walls have actually collapsed. So uh, to prevent any danger of collapsing on anyone walking on the road or traveling on the road, this should ideally be closed for the section till the time that it has been repaired. Considering that this is the monsoon, so a, a, a complete reconstruction of the wall, wall, which is a requirement, cannot be done as of now. However, temporary measures like, you know, a stone masonry wall or a, a gabion wall or with sandbag walling and all to prevent further damage is has been advised to HSCL. But however, that's the call that HSCL has to take. Secondly, the high mast, we are planning to remove the lights. I had suggested that removing the lights of the, uh, of the high mast so that uh, the wind load and uh, things like that are not, you know, they do, they do not have an effect on the structure of the pole. Yes, yes, no doubt about that. But considering that uh, the earth below has already, already been eroded, so I think uh, there's some extra precaution that needs to be taken just for the sake of safety of the, the people around. Uh, this, basically, the uh, HSCL has taken note of whatever we have uh, inputs that we have given. They will have, again, go back to their own technical team and get it you know, certified and from the designers as well as from the people who have given the design for the high mass, the design for the retaining walls. So they will take a call. Once they have taken a call, they will uh, execute the work and in uh, probably in another two or three weeks time, we, I, I most probably could come again and have a look at this. What has been done.